Hello viewers, today we will see how we can decompose a signal using wavelet in MATLAB. Let's load a signal first. As you can see, we have loaded the signal. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, the signal looks like this. Now we'll decompose the signal. We'll do it in two ways. The first one is using the wavelet toolbox and the second one is by using coding manually. So first we'll do it using the wavelet toolbox. So let's load the wavelet toolbox. We can load it by entering the following command wavelet analyzer. Okay, so we, uh, the signal we are decomposing is a 1D signal, so we'll choose wavelet 1D. Okay, now first we have to load the signal into the wavelet analyzer from the MATLAB. We'll go to file import from workspace and we'll choose import signal now we'll see all the available variables from the workspace in this window we'll choose the something okay so here is our main signal and in the right side of the window we'll choose the options first we'll have to choose a uh, wavelet function we will choose db dubinches and we will choose dubinches version 2 and at level we have to choose the number of levels we will be decomposing I am choosing level 4 and we have to click on analyze ok so here in the left side on the window we can see the detail coefficients of level 1, level 2, 3 and 4 and the approximation of the main signal at level 4. We can manually see all the levels from here at levels if we want to see how was the approximation at level 1. Okay, this, this was the approximation at level 1. This was the approximation at level 2. Approximation at level 3 and this is our final approximation so this is one way of doing the signal decomposition and this is the easiest way so if we want to um, uh, utilize these signals or we want to perform additional operations then we have to do it manually by coding so let's see how we can do it manually using coding so now we will analyze uh, the signal or we will decompose the signal manually using coding first we will clear the command window then we will clear all the variables defined previously now we will load the signal first then we'll use a function named webdec this is actually the function that is responsible for decomposing a signal webdec means wavelet decomposition here we can see we have uh, three three arguments first one is the name of the signal second one is the level how many level we want to decompose and the third one is the number of wavelet function so here the signal is something okay then we want to decompose it for let's say level 3 and the function is db2 if you want to use another version of DaVinci's 
let's say you want to use version 4 just replace it with 4 we are using level 2 this function return a list of two variables the first one is the coefficients and the second one is the level now we will find the approximation to find the approximation we have to use a function name app coef this will return the approximation coefficients the first parameter is the c vector second one is the level vector and the third one is the name of the wavelet function okay now we'll find the detail coefficients for finding detail coefficients we will use another function name dead coef it also takes the same parameters first one is the c vector second one is the level vector and here we have to um, provide the number of levels we'll do it in three steps for three levels and this function will return a list of three variables d1 d2 and d3 okay now we will plot the outputs let's take a subplot and we will provide the title approximation at level 3 now we will plot the detail coefficients we will plot the level 3 detail coefficient first 3 then the title The title will be detail coefficients at level four, sorry, three. By the same way, we will plot the remaining two detail coefficients. This will be d2 and this will be d1. This is coefficient at level 2, this is at level 1. 1, 3 and this is 4. So now, we will run this program and let's see we get okay the first one is the approximation coefficient at level 3 second one is the detail coefficient at level 3 third one is the detail coefficient at level 2 and first one is the detail coefficient at level 1 so we get so we have got what we wanted so in this video uh, we have learned how we can find out approximation and detail coefficients by using the both the uh, wavelet toolbox and also by manually 
coding it so this is the end of the video thank you for watching